This is about the second week of this expedition, and we are on our third location here. And our mission is to photograph the helmeted hornbills. These helmeted hornbills, they've been occupying these forests for, for thousands of years, but uh, recently they've fallen prey to basically human greed, and this hornbill has this really unique horn on its head. That's a solid uh, keratin material. Local people have been hunting this bird for a long time, and it somehow survived. So it has learned to avoid humans. But recently, there's been a surge in demand for the carved hornbill products in China. And this has led to a kind of industrial scale poaching with hunters with guns. And so I'm trying to document this bird to sort of show people what it's like and try to get some more attention for it before it's too late. <laughs> Hello, Sai Tim. Tim Lama. Hi, Rul. Hi, Rul. Yeah, Ricardo. Nice to meet you. Ricardo, nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Okay, man, should I check Harini? Sudah. Bagaimana? Ada burung? Belum nggak ada ketemu tadi. Nggak ada lihatnya. Oh ya? Dari jam 5 saya sudah menengah sudah. Hmm. Listen. Yes. Female and the male both came to the nest cavity. She had this really amazing call. Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah, this really unique call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The female was working on the entrance. For a long time. time. Yeah. My God, it's so sore. Yeah. <laughs> More than 15 minutes. <laughs> there was a moment when the female like pulled her head out and looked like they like almost like touched beaks. Speechless. This, this here, it's kind of amazing because you can see, you can still see the feathers. And we have here about, how many Yoki? We have about 100? 100. Almost 100? Yeah. And these are, you know, just the ones that were captured by the authorities. There are probably thousands estimated that have been exported from Indonesia just in the past few years. Uh, my estimation is about 6,000 helmeted hornbill has been killed in West Kalimantan alone in 2013 alone. In 2015, it's, uh, you know, leaped from near threatened into the critical endangers, which is one step before the extinction. This pair has likely made it for life. Every year they look for a hollowed cavity and if they find one, they'll clear it out and the female will seal herself in, sometimes 30 meters high in the canopy. The male provides all the food for her 
and their newborn chick until the young birds able to fledge 150 days later. Large hornbills like this are believed to live for 40 or maybe even up to 50 years in the wild. So killing a male like this for its horn is removing an individual from the environment that may have 20 or 30 years of reproductive life left. So sometimes depending on when the male is hunted, if he's killed at a critical time when the female is inside the nest with the chick, and maybe she's molting so she can't fly, can't escape, killing the male might result in the female and the baby also losing their life. 